guys! In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 iPhone apps that I personally have found to be extremely helpful throughout my time as a student, especially as I am now a college student. These are things that I find super, super essential on my phone. If you guys have any recommendations for apps that all students should have, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I'm always looking for new things to make my life easier. Um, so the first one is called Photo Scan. It's by Google and it's an app App that really is so useful because it allows you to take sort of like a picture of a like glossy photograph or a glossy page and it eliminates the glare and shadows that your typical like photo setup will create especially if you're using flash on your phone so I just sat, decided to show you as an example on like this ACT prep book but um, I used it a ton second semester during my freshman year for taking photos of the textbook pages that I had because that way I could keep these scans on my phone and not have to worry about lugging my really heavy textbook everywhere on my back. And so I found that very useful. Um, I wrote down in this notebook Office Lens because it's an app that does something sort of similar, but I forgot that the one I actually really liked was PhotoScan. Um, and I will make sure to link as many apps as I can down below just so that you guys know exactly which ones I'm talking about. This next app that I think every student should have is definitely like sort of a bundle deal in terms of like Google Drive, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, whichever one like you would use the most. I'm personally just showing you guys Google Docs, but on my phone I have Google Drive, Google Docs, and Google Sheets, and I use all three of those very, very frequently. Um, I always take all of my notes that I type up on Google Docs and not on something like Microsoft Word because I have this really really big fear that like my computer will crash at some point and all of my documents will be lost especially if I was like working on a paper at the time that's something that I super don't want happening to me and I know has happened to my friends before so I do everything that I possibly can productivity wise on the Google softwares for that reason and also because it's really convenient because I can access all of my notes on my phone so I can review things on the go I can edit things as I am like also on the go, which is really, really convenient. Um, and I also like having Google Drive on my phone because um, I use it for marching band. We'll have like our music or drill charts or something on Google Drive and I'm able to access those quickly while I'm on the field as well. So I use all of these apps for a variety of purposes and I literally don't think I could function without the fact that I can use them on both my laptop and my phone. So I would highly recommend the Google apps um, if you don't already use those just because you have the unlimited storage and everything is backed up online so you don't have to worry about your work being lost. This next app is one that I definitely have talked about for like years on my channel, but I haven't found a to-do list or reminder type app that I've liked more than this one. It's called Clear. Um, and I absolutely love the interface. It's so intuitive, very easy to use, and is super aesthetically pleasing in addition to being very functional. Um, I use it for my to-do lists if I'm not writing it on like with pen and paper in my bullet journal or a planner. You guys know that that's typically my way of planning and I love writing out to-do lists. I think it's very, very calming and helps me kind of get my life in order. If I'm on the go, however, and I just need to jot something down, I will use Clear for that. I have like a running to-do list that I just kind of cycle through, but I have lists for a couple of other things as well. Um, I love that they have like the darker color at at the top and then it sort of gradients down and that can be translated either in the order of things that need to be done or by priority which I really like. I love that you can cross things off very easily that you can just drag and drop to reprioritize. I just absolutely love this app. If you guys have any suggestions for other to-do list apps that you like definitely leave those down below but this is the one that I've found to be my favorite. You obviously can also use the notes or reminders apps that come with the phone as well if you don't want to pay for this one. So TED Talks are probably one of my favorite things because um, I feel like I learn so much and it makes me 
such a well-rounded, like, knowledgeable person about a variety of different subjects, um, and they don't take that much time to watch either. So instead of watching, like, a typical YouTube video, I'll open up the TED app and just watch um, something random on, like, bioluminescence or on like bettering myself for all sorts of things. Um, I love the fact that I have all of this information so readily available through the app, but you can also use, I think, the website and they also have like a YouTube channel. So honestly, like the app probably isn't super, super necessary, but I find that I use it more if I have it rather than just focusing on watching through YouTube. But I find that this is really useful to, you know, regularly watch just because um, sometimes in class discussions, like in my smaller discussion classes that are like 20 people or less, something will come up that I can like reference something I've seen in a TED talk before. Um, and that allows me to kind of have a greater scope of like the subject matter that I'm working with in class. And so that's something that I find to be very useful if I'm, you know, com- putting like TED Talks into my education and how that's useful for me as a student. Um, But it also is just super interesting and I would highly recommend watching TED Talks if you have some free time. This next app, I think I've talked about for like all three years that my channel has been in existence um, and it is an app called Forest. Um, And it is so, so useful if you, like me, are addicted to your phone or at least get very easily distracted by it while doing homework or studying. So how it works is that you can set a timer anywhere from like 10 minutes to I think like two hours and you plant a tree in that time frame. So you'll hit the button and once your phone like locks itself or whatever and you open it up again during that time frame, if you try to quit the app to like answer a text or like look at a Facebook notification or Instagram or whatever, like you're, you have to make that decision to kill the little tree. So it's sort of just an extra motivation to stay off your phone, a reminder to stop being distracted and to just like take that time to focus and not be on your phone. So during times that I really need to buckle down, I will use this app and just have it set for like half an hour and then I'll take a break for like five minutes and then go again for another half hour. You can use Pomodoro time for this as well Um, and there's a free version of this app that is by a different company I believe it's called Flora but you have to sign up via Facebook to use that one Um, I will never hesitate to recommend Forrest to someone who has to study for long periods of time and has trouble doing so because of their phone this next app is one that if you are a student i don't know why you wouldn't have this app on your phone it's called quizlet i'm sure most of you are familiar with it um, but it's basically the best website ever created for studying Um, I use it on my laptop and on my phone so so often if i could have one app on my phone to help me with my studying at all like my favorite in this video in terms of like being directly helpful for my education it would be quizlet um i use literally every single mode whether it's the learn mode flashcard mode like match mode the test mode like i use all of them um and if you have any class whatsoever that has like vocabulary terms or like questions that you can just put directly into Quizlet set, it is beyond helpful to use and like just the repetitiveness of studying and, and also seeing that material in many different ways by using those different modes, I personally have found to be invaluable. Um, I have learned so much vocab, whether it's like my high school Spanish classes, I used that all the time. Um, And in college, I've used it for like my psychology classes, um, my neural class, like anything that has a lot of vocabulary is so useful to use Quizlet and I absolutely love it. I think that it's the easiest way for me to like study if I'm like walking like from my dorm to the class or I'm, you know, on the bus in between classes or anything like that, I can just pull out my phone and just like on the go very, very quickly can effectively study. The seventh app I think every student should have on their phone is literally any news app. Um, I personally have three on my phone. I have the Wall Street Journal, New York Times, and the Washington Post. Um, You obviously don't need like three or even more than one, but I find that when I'm in college, I don't have access to cable, so I don't watch the news daily um, on like a TV or anything like I might do at home. And um, 
I'm trying to just make sure I stay informed about the world as of recently just because I think it's really important to be able to do that as a student. So I will read through like headlines and read a couple articles every day just so that I'm aware of what's happening in the world because you know, if a current events topic comes up in class, you don't want to be that one person who has no idea what's going on whatsoever. So I think it's useful to have a news app on your phone if you don't watch the news regularly on TV like I do, um, or like that I don't. So I have these apps to encourage myself to continue staying informed and knowing what's going on. This next app is one that's useful um, more like indirectly to your education and role as a student. But if you are a high school or college student, I'm sure you'll find it as useful as I do. It's called Venmo. For those who don't know, Venmo is an app that you can instantly transfer money between people, um, whether it's through like a debit card or checking account or um, Venmo balance or whatever. But I can't tell you how many times I have Venmoed people um, or have them Venmo me, whether it's like we're at lunch or dinner and it's like a non-split check. Um, No one really carries cash around to be able to pay everyone back that needs to be paid back. So Venmo is something that everyone just kind of whips out and that's something that we use to solve that problem. Same for like sharing Ubers and things like that. Um, Also, a lot of clubs and organizations will be around campus selling, you know, stickers, t-shirts, tickets to different events and things like that. And they usually accept payment through Venmo as well. So it just makes your life very, very easy in terms of like finances and not having to worry about constantly having cash on you. Um, and just like, obviously I'm not showing the app Venmo on my phone. Um, I'm showing it to you guys in the app store just because it has a lot of like important information, like my full name, my friend's full names, banking information. So it's just better for me to show you guys on this instead. The next sort of like two apps go hand in hand. The first is find my friends and the second is find my iPhone. Um, find my friends is something that I know not everyone is comfortable with using. I share my location indefinitely with both my parents, my younger brother, my roommate from last year, my roommate for next year, all the people that are going to be living in my apartment next year, as well as a bunch of my really close friends. Obviously, you need to be in the right friend group for that to work for you guys, but um, it's nice to be able to have the location of these people just like if we're going out, we can make sure everyone's safe, um, know if people are back home okay, etc. And um, find my iPhone is sort of a no-brainer. You should have that whether or not you're a student just because you never know when you're going to lose your phone. I definitely have lost my phone before during my freshman year and I was able to log in to find my iPhone using a friend's phone and it was really 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 useful to have so I would highly recommend getting both of those if you're comfortable with it. This last app is one that I've mentioned before. I believe it was in my senior year advice video from last year. Um, but I would so highly recommend Google Photos for anyone who's a student and likes to constantly, you know, save funny Snapchats or have lots of little videos. Like for me, I have my one second a day video that I do for the entire year. Um, so I have a lot of video clips from that and I take a ton of photos with my friends and I. Um, and so I like to have Google Photos as a way for me to, first of all, back up all of my photos and videos. But second, it allows me to save a lot of storage on my phone. If you're someone who takes a lot of photos and videos, you know that eventually Eventually you hit that point where the phone will be like storage almost full and so you have to like delete a lot of stuff and it gets very annoying. So instead you can, you know, back up all of your things under Google Photos and then you can delete literally everything off of your camera roll because you have everything saved and easily accessible, whether it's on your phone or your computer. Um, as you can see, I'm definitely a big fan of a lot of Google apps. I feel like a good number of those made it into this video but they're ones that I genuinely use and I think like if I could keep like 10 apps on my phone to be useful as a student like this would absolutely be the last one that I would out of all of these I think it's just so 
so incredibly useful. Even after I leave college, I will be backing up my photos and videos on Google Photos, and it encourages me to document what I believe are some of the best years of my life right now. I love the people I'm surrounded by. I love the places I'm in, and I want to make sure I document and keep as many of those memories as possible, and this app allows me to do that. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing what my favorite apps are and the things that I really, really do use very frequently on my phone. Um, And I hope you guys have a good one. Bye, guys.